my son loves kale and apparently so do you guys because I have been getting so many emails for me to do kale chips so today we're gonna make crispy salt and vinegar kale chips and I'm also gonna talk about some other variations for those who are saying oh no boo honey I don't do that salt and vinegar stuff so let's get started okay we're gonna start with a big bunch of curly kale I have washed and dried this kale off so make sure you wash it really really good get off all that icky grit and make sure they're dry now it's gonna tear them off into little bite-sized pieces remove them from the stem okay just like that and these are gonna shrink up a little bit in the oven so it's okay if it's a little big all right very very easy there's our yummy kale yummy right ew I hate raw kale I don't like it so gross all right now I'm gonna place these all into a bowl just like that and then I'm gonna add in my white vinegar if you don't want the salt and vinegar kind go ahead and skip this step right here I'm just gonna use my hands and just kind of toss it around just like that you want to coat them in the vinegar but not too much okay and you can get this recipe on my blog with a ton of other recipes so go check that out Okay, now that we have them lightly coated in the vinegar, we're just gonna place them out on a sheet, a baking sheet, a piece of parchment paper, whatever. Just we're gonna let them dry, and vinegar dries really quickly, so this shouldn't take too long at all. All right, let that dry. And don't forget, you guys, if you like this recipe, you're enjoying this video, please be sure to give me a thumbs up, rate, comment, subscribe, all that good stuff. I love it so much. Okay, so our kale has dried completely gonna place this back into a bowl and add on some olive oil okay this is where you pick back up if you skip that um, vinegar step okay you want to coat this in olive oil lightly not a lot you don't want a lot of olive oil the oil is gonna help it crisp up you just want it to be nice and shiny just like that see perfect okay now I have my baking sheet here I'm gonna place some parchment paper on top of it and just spread out my kale into a single layer now my oven is already preheated to 350, but before I pop them in there, I'm gonna sprinkle them with a little bit of salt, a very light layer, not too much because we already have that vinegar on there. Now if you're not doing the salt and vinegar version, you can really use any kind of seasoning you want. I've used um, the ranch um, powder stuff, I've used Parmesan cheese, I've done uh, regular seasoning salt, I've done the um, barbecue rib rub. Just think of your favorite type of chip and you can really season it any way you like to, seriously. Okay, I'm gonna place these into my oven for about five minutes. And then after five minutes, you wanna check on them, make sure they're not getting cooked too quickly. I cannot tell you how many batches of kale chips I have burned. I thought I hated kale chips because they tasted like ashes because I always burnt them. But make sure you check on them after the five minute mark and then place them back into the oven for another five minutes. And after that, go ahead and remove the chips that are already done. Some chips will cook faster because they're smaller. So go ahead and remove those chips that those kale chips that are not done and the ones that are still flimsy like that go ahead and pop them back into the oven for about another minute or so and then that's it you are done I hope you guys enjoyed this video you can get the recipe at thewhatskincooks.com bye